and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name is Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold our house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved onto a narrow boat called Nutshell. Which we're not in. Which we're not in. That we are in a caravan awning, sheltering from the pouring rain. We might be able to hear it. Without further ado, let us show you how... The week unfolded. Good morning to you and welcome to Sunday. Let's just set the scene. Number one, I've had a cold shower this morning. I don't know why I expected the water to be hot. I just did. Glenn's just told me that I needed to have told him and he would turn the immersion on. It was cold. That's all I'm saying about that. We are going to be heading off soon. We still have that small matter of those five locks that way, five locks back, before we even start on our return journey. But Glenn's promised me that we are not doing the whole thing today. So our plan is to stop probably just after Leighton Buzzard. And uh, we'll be setting off very soon. Last night, oh, we had such a lovely time with Jeff and Sally. We had barbecue. Oh, the food's coming out. It's looking gorgeous, thank you. And then the second chili jam. Yeah. This is the original. Oh. Lovely, thank you. They're just such good hosts. Very, very lovely time. Are you ready for this, Mr. Warner? Ready as I've ever been. Here comes Sally and Jeff with the dogs. They are gonna give us a hand through the lock. Like, Jeff has very kindly offered to walk whilst <laughs> me and Sally sit in. This is the best way to travel by narrow boat. And the dogs are loving it too. They're gonna get a nice walk. First lock of the day is in sight. It's like he's checking out what's going on. <laughs> There's a boat coming down. Jeff's in the lock. Glenn just came round and I said, have you seen the llama in the field? And he said, no, what llama? And uh, the llama's disappeared. Now Glenn doesn't believe me. There was a llama oh, there. And in we go. First lock of the day. So in these locks, you've got lower paddles and then gate paddles. So you open the lower paddles first and the water comes in from from there and then you open the gate paddles and the water comes in from there the reason you do it in that order is that if you open the gate paddles first the water would flood in really quickly and make well it make it very unpleasant for the person who was trying to hold the boat in the lock number two we're sharing this one with another boat it's coming up with us absolutely beautiful boats look at that garden and here we go lock number three this is a very leaky lock So Sally's opened the swing bridge, but I've often wondered what happens when people are on their own. Because once you open it, you're over that side. I'm not quite sure how it works. <laughs> there we go. Right, coming up to lock four and five. We should be able to turn just after these. And then we got to do it all again on the way back. Right, so that's the five locks done. This is where we're gonna turn. This is at the top of the Aylesbury Arm. This is the furthest point we've been on the Grand Union. One day we will go down there and see what it's like. This is the Aylesbury Arm. Remember that well. I like the Aylesbury Arm, I'd like to do that again. And we're round and off we go back the way we came right 
essentials. Let's make some tea. I just made that cup of coffee and we're at the lock. Doggies have a drink. These swing bridges can be hard to get moving. Once they're moving though, they're fine. Coming through. Oh, it was the chimney top. Oh, that tree got us. That was perfect. In our favor, straight in. Dogs are loving their trip on board. We're sharing the lot with another boat. And the sun has come out. Makes such a difference when they're in our favour. We don't have to do anything here apart from just push the gate as Glen eases into the lock. Some of the locks are so picturesque looks beautiful we're almost back to where we started this lock was built in 1869 it just amazes me no power tools just sheer manpower Ivanhoe number 33 We've lost the other little boat that was coming with us. We'll wait for him. So, Jeff and Sally have gone now. So, I'm on my own with two boats to get through the lock. I've got grease on my hands and I've just wiped my face. I've now got grease all over my face is lock number 12 i think we've got two more to do today three three okay three Road lock and Leighton Buzz lock. okay i'm getting weary now I'm Get, getting weary this is a full lock this one look at it this is the only lock today, not in our favour. That's not bad. So, I've got to shut that far gate and fill this lock back up again before letting Glenn and our fellow boater in and then letting it all out again. Here we go. Just had a good look, no boats coming up, so I'll start filling this ready for these guys. Here we go, last lock of the day. All paddles open. Almost full. Don't know if you can see, that says 1876. somewhere to moor now i'm pretty sure the camera is not going to pick this up but it looks like snow it just looks absolutely beautiful it's a nice spot oh that was so close Good 
in and welcome to Monday. Not a bad spot to wake up to on a Monday. Hark, the kettle boils. Gonna have a coffee. I think, Glenn, I think you want to get off quite soon, yeah, don't you? Yeah, it's about five, it's still about five hours. Five hours, five locks. What are you doing down here, Mr. Warner? I'm getting ready. I'm just putting some vibes on old school tape cassette playing. I fixed it. I bought it off eBay for like eight quid. And it's like 40 years old and the rollers and the neck so I just fixed it. Right, we're on our way. Five locks to go. Such a beautiful part of the Grand Union this is. I love it. So we're just approaching the first of the the locks so there's three locks in a row here aptly named the three locks well the locks not in our favor because i see a gate that's open but i do see a couple of crt people around oh my goodness wouldn't it be great if we've got some volunteers help us through the locks yep so that's great so we've got some volunteers on the lock which is brilliant and there's a boat coming up they're still coming out of the lock below so probably i don't know 10 15 minutes or so so the next one being opened ready for us So that's lock number two done. So this is the third and final one in this flight. It makes it easier when you've got help. I was going to jump on at the lock, but there was a wide beam and a narrow beam. And it was all go. So I said to Glenn, let's just clear the lock and then I'll jump on when we're clear. No, I can't jump that far, Glenn. Take that, darling. Oh, Glenn. <laughs> I did it. I always feel a sense of accomplishment well, when. You've got so much going on, you got camera in your hands. I know. Trying... Bit nervous about this it's low like, well, tree. Like cane in this. And whether the tomato plant is gonna survive oh 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 my goodness so glenn says he was speaking to someone who who knew a bit more about fenny lock and this is, correct him if he's wrong, but this is how Glenn... Heard it, but she said that basically they'd started the canal from Birmingham and London and Fenny is where it met. It was off, you know, a little bit. So right. basically they put the lock in to take into account the, ah. the miss. We don't know whether that's true or not, but it would make sense. So the Fenny Stratford lock and swing bridge is in sight. long till we're back to the marina bridge built in 1937 number 84 on the grand union canal it's going to be a tight squeeze down here we've got moored boats on the right and we've got a wide beam coming down as well In safe and sound. Oh, so this is my tomato that was knocked off by a by a branch, and it's my biggest tomato. I'm going to stick it in the window, see if it will go red. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Tuesday. I've just come in from my walk, and I'm feeling fabulous. 
could be the beautiful blue sky out there or just the fact that I actually got my ass out of bed and went for a walk. I woke up this morning and I was like, get up, go for a walk. And then I was like, no, stay here. Get up, go for a walk. And, and that conversation went on in my head for a long time. Finally got up. I went for a shorter walk, but I'm feeling glad I did it. There's a whole flotilla of geese in the marina this morning and boy are they making a racket they do a lot of honking so what's the plan for today well glenn's gone off to the office and then he's got an amazon round i am going to have my eyes tested today yes it's the right day if you watched last week you'll know i was a whole week early so i've got that this afternoon and then this evening we're going to the pub so a fun filled day i think so our unit is looking very empty now we've um pretty much run out of anything decent to sell i've done a little bit on my bike today didn't take any footage of it because it's, it's it was only putting the tank on and my main thing is now is get the bike running make sure everything works I need to do an oil change on it. The, only thing, the other thing I've noticed is the suspension's really soft. And me not being the smallest person around, that's probably gonna struggle, but it is adjustable, so I should be able to stiffen it up. But I so say the main thing now is get it going, make sure it runs, make sure there's no leaks, because obviously I've had all the top in pieces. Likely it is, the exhaust is gonna leak. It's just one of those that you just never really get away with when you first put it back together. I've not put any gunk or anything around it. I've just tried to put a clean new gasket, but I've just got this feeling that's gonna leak. The only thing that's missing off of it at the moment is the seat. Right, I'm off to the optician's. Gonna take a book in case I'm early. Park's looking beautiful today. All these electric cars plugged in here. Look at this one. Looks gorgeous. I test done, ordered my new glasses, all sorted. How was your Amazon round this afternoon? Oh, a bit ropey. My final delivery was to Amazon in Milton Keynes. And I couldn't find the thing I needed to deliver to, which was one of those Amazon drop-off points. I knew what I needed to do. I just couldn't find the machine at this massive Amazon depot. It was a catalogue of prolonged, needy deliveries, basically. Pub Tuesday, here we come. Texan bar. I don't remember a Texan bar. They were like a Yorkie, but with solid caramel. I remember the Texan, I remember the Texan. Oh, I remember one of those. Oh my god, I remember those. I used to love those. Everyone likes a star bar. But you can't eat them out of the fridge. Car broke down the other day. Oh, no. What happened? Got to the side of the road. Car's not running. Open the bonnet. Yeah. Bloody bat in there. No way. He looks up at me. He goes, You're an handsome fella. Ends up, I've got a bat flattery. Got a new dog yesterday. Local blacksmiths. He's gone out of business. So we've adopted him. Lovely little Springer Spaniel. Took him home. Made a bolt for the door. <laughs> What's you call the man with a rubber toe? <laughs> I don't know. Roberto. <laughs> Why did the baker have brown hands? Because <laughs> he needed a boot. <laughs> what did the fish say when he swam into the wall? I don't know. Oh, damn. <laughs> what do you call a man with a number plate on his head? I don't know. Reg. <laughs> what does this man call him? Oh, Reg. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a man with a piece of wood on his head? Edward. <laughs> what do you call a piece of a man with two pieces of wood on his head? Edward Woodward. <laughs> what do you call a man with three pieces of wood on his head? I don't know, but Edward Woodward Wood. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. Glenn's delivering flowers. I'm picking Leo up and going to my mum's. That's all very normal Wednesday. But then we've got an added extra. 
we have. My friend Dawn, it was her birthday yesterday, so I'm gonna pop round with some cake and a card and see her after. It's another grey day today. There's a heron just strolling along the pontoon there. Can you see him? They're getting so used to people just walking past. I saw one sitting on someone's boat the other day. <laughs> a quick inspection of under the car. What do you do, Mr. Warner? Uh, Something not quite like right, the suspension on the back of the car. What can you see? Yeah, what? <laughs> it does look like it's got two different springs in it. Righty, let's go get Leo. Look at these, aren't they gorgeous? Morning. So I'm out delivery. I'll take you just out, just around our local estate where we used to live. I'll just set you up and take you to the next one. favorite when I was growing up. Have a look in there Leo, they were my favourites when I was little. Mum's garden's looking lovely, sun's come out. I'm going to do my favourite job, a bit of deadheading. My mum's cat Molly always comes out and supervises when we're in the garden. She always has to like just come and see what we're doing. So these poppies haven't been planted, they've just like self seeded themselves it's up to you some people see them as weeds dad yeah dad didn't like them did he look there's another one cropped up there oh look mum's going for it now the poppies are at it doesn't this look lovely what I thought I'd quickly do while I'm going past because we say at the beginning of all of our videos that we sold our house got rid of all of our stuff so I'm just gonna go past the house that we actually sold and got rid of all of our stuff from. We'll do a drive by because it's just round the corner. As you drive down here, not this one that's for sale here, but this next one with the blue car on the corner, that house there on the left is our old house. And then just down here, I bought another little house just so we have got a property and it's the one on the left okay wait a minute drop leo off picked glenn up uh heading round to dawn's to have a cup of coffee and wish you a happy birthday i think it's going to be very warm on the boat this afternoon good morning and welcome to thursday watering the plants doing a bit of garden maintenance and guess what First strawberry. it's a harvest again yeah, i think it's it might come under the wobbly it's a good one though isn't it it's a good one there's a little one on there there's another little one as well look considering the size of the plant i know so today i was going to catch up on loads of work that was my plan the internet isn't working three are doing work in our areas mm. again so they say um so no internet and i've thought rather than sit at my screen in pure frustration i'm gonna go with mr warner for for a little trip out and get some shopping Chloe said to Glenn that she needs sewing assistance. So obviously she called Glenn and was like, Dad, could you mend this for me? So um, we're going to go and pick that up. And also we're going to get the van washed because we're going away for a couple of days tomorrow. Oh, so excited. We thought we'd better take a clean van with us. So we've come all the way over to Chloe's, picked up the thing that she needs some sewing done on. Uh, but we was going to get the van washed, which was the main reason why we brought the van. Just found out that the van washing place is no longer there. 
not to worry. Glenn said he's going to throw a bucket of soapy water over it tomorrow. Seeing that we're right next to the supermarket, let's go in and get some food. Feel like a bank robber. You look like a bank robber. <laughs> so do really you. Warm. They're like really hot. I know. I know. Right. Let's go. going to be humming queen songs all day aren't I? Our daughter wanted me to stitch it on the sewing machine across there back together but the um it's got the dog's name on it but it's, it's too thick it won't go in the machine. I've had a day of internet woes I've had so three our service provider are doing work in the area and can I just say I think they're dragging their heels anyway I was supposed to be on a zoom call this morning miss that uh, supposed to be on one this afternoon but at the moment I can't even sp send the smallest of emails so I, I think a video meeting is going to be out of the question so I might make some salads Glenn you're getting ever so domesticated mm, Glenn's given up with the sewing machine is now sewing by hand it always amazes me how much cabbage you get from one small cabbage. So my plan is to make a couple of different sort of salads using red cabbage, grated carrot and white cabbage. This is our homegrown parsley. So this bag is just plain red cabbage with some lemon juice, some olive oil, some salt and a bit of cumin because obviously I put cumin in everything so I love it and that will soften really nicely and just be great with kebabs and any sort of meat. Right so in there carrot and cabbage and some of the parsley chopped just made it this is just olive oil and lemon salt and some pepper and a garlic clove so i've made enough salad for about ten thousand people should do us over the next few days created a mountain of washing up the internet's still not working i can't access podcasts the zoom call that i'm supposed to be on my videos that i'm supposed to be uploading nothing i'm in a grumpy mood what i need is to get this washing up done i need to make a cup of tea sit down and just just calm down john garlic mayo darling <laughs> morning and welcome to friday i certainly have that friday feeling today because we're going away for a couple of days in the camper van we're not going far though the place where we're going is like a 10 minute drive away chloe and aaron are testing out their new caravan so we've decided to go with them and have a couple of days in a country park near here I'm going to make a marinade for the chicken that we're going to take with us. Well, I think we're having a takeaway tonight, but this will go on to the Kadak tomorrow. It's a super simple recipe. All I'm going to do is add some yogurt, some tikka masala, a bit of ginger, a couple of garlic cloves. Oh, and a squeeze of lemon. That's it. I'm going to throw that in there with the chicken and that will be tasty for tomorrow. Do you know we're only going for two days and we're only going 10 minutes down the road but like it's taken us about two hours to pack up anyway i think we're ready let's go mr warner connecting the leisure battery and filling the fridge with all the essentials let's go five minutes later yes five minutes later we arrive at our destination 
afternoon. Cheers. <laughs> We're in. So we're at plot 41 and 42. Keeper's made himself comfy. Aaron and Glenn are contemplating getting the awning out. Okay, here we go. It's 2.30, let's see how long it takes them. This is progressing nicely. Chloe's got the instructions out now. Yeah, just over an hour. But that's not bad considering it took them 10 minutes to get in the bag because the zip had uh, corroded. Me and Chloe are going to go for a walk, see what we can see. Which, which dog am I taking? This one. There's a very cool play area here is. and there's another play park as well. Kids would love it here. I don't know if you can see, we were just walking across there and I thought, twig, and it was a snake. It went in there somewhere. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a snake that big. We found the river ooze. It's lovely here. I was going to say this is a great picnic spot down here but I'm, I'm a little hesitant to say that now because I've just seen a massive snake. This park's got all the surprises. We, we turn this way and there's a tree down. I nearly pulled you in then, Chloe. The dogs love water. Guess what we saw, Glenn? Bald eagle. No. We saw a snake, a huge snake. Did you? With a yellow head. Do you know what that would be? First chill. Yeah, that's exactly so what then, that was. Let's have a look. Yeah, definitely that. It was definitely that. What is it? A yeah. type of grass snake. Ah. Often found near water. Yeah, it rivers, was it was near the river. Canal, ponds, as well as open grassland. Yeah, that ticks all the boxes. It, it ticks the all the boxes. Is just around the corner. <laughs> Here we go. Which one? Oh, large yeah, John. Oh, this one's mine. You bought two lots of mushy peas. <laughs> you can never have too many mushy peas. Haddock and small chips. Are you Haddock? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Three hour and I've had it as well. Can't get loads in the car today. Good morning and welcome to Saturday from Emberton Country Park. Mr. Warner is up and is ready to cook breakfast. Getting the Kadak out. Cook some sausages. I've heard a rumour from Chloe who got up early this morning to walk the, the dogs that the cafe's open and it's selling a rather decent flat white. Right, Mr. Warner, while uh, you are cooking up a storm, we're going to go in search of decent coffee. Yeah, okay, cool. They're super excited to see us. Oh, don't spill the coffee. Right. I'm going to put that there and then you can load it up. What's it going to need? Let me see. You got new teeth. Yeah. They still grow. Snakes uh, can only see motion, so if you stop moving, they can't see you. So you're technically invisible. So we've started walking around the lake and you won't be able to see it from there. We are hiding under trees now because it is absolutely pouring. Pour in. It stopped quick. Carry on, carry on. I don't think it has actually stopped. Now the dogs. It's now thundering and lightning. Trying to get back to the campsite. We're like the furthest point. It is very rainy out there. Guys, At least yeah. it's nice and dry in, it, in here though. <laughs> hey! Once! Don't forget you have drinks. Two! Three! Go! See ya! See ya! So there we have it! 
not a bad week at all. A lot going on this week. It's been a busy one. Thank you to everyone who commented about Vina last week. We didn't forget her. We're just waiting to hear from Vina's grandson. Uh, we just want to check in, see if she's okay. We are soaking wet, are having, soaking wet. having got caught in a storm. So we're going to go and get some dry clothes on and we will see you next week. Next week. Take care.